Imagine that you are a beautiful teenager, surrounded by friends and studious, with nothing to complain about in life. However, one day, everything is turned upside down. A person creates a fake profile on the internet posing as you and uses it to cyber-stalk your classmates, resulting in you having to move away in order to escape this nightmare. But just as you're settling into your new school and finally opening up to your new friends, your past resurfaces and now, will you run away again or face it? I'm Lancelot and in today's movie recap we'll be watching Nowhere Safe. The story begins with the protagonist and her mother moving house in the middle of the night. They go to a neighboring town and seem to be frightened by something. The next day, Ashley and Julie go to school together, as the girl will be continuing her studies and her mother will be her new drama teacher. But the protagonist asks Julie to leave her before she enters the school, as she says she's afraid of things happening again and thinks it's better that way. Her first day at the new school is peaceful and better than Ashley imagined, but at night she remains insecure, even in her new home, afraid that someone will throw something out of the window again or do something like that. At school, the next day, Max, who is in some of the protagonist's classes, approaches her when he realizes that the girl hasn't got on yet and gives her details of each group of students even pointing out the ones she should avoid so as not to make a nuisance of herself, which reminds her of her old school, when girls from this type of group started bullying her. In history class, the teacher always presents the subjects in a playful and relaxed way, which is incredible in my opinion, and at the end of the class, Kevin gives Ashley an assignment where she has to present a video talking about some event in history and how it has affected her life. In the next scene, we see that the protagonist won't be able to remain anonymous for long, as she has gone against Nick, the boy who is the leader of the group we can call the bullies, because he has upset Max, the only person Ashley has befriended so far. And Nick wasn't expecting that. Now we go to Ashley's house, she's doing her homework when her mother comes into her room and comments that she needs someone to play a part in the play she's putting on. Julie says she thinks her daughter would be perfect, but the girl says she doesn't want to go through that kind of thing again. The next day, the protagonist notices that the teacher has given Nick an assignment to redo because it's incomplete. Even though she doesn't like the way the boy is acting, Ashley takes the sheet of paper he's crumpled up and shows him where he's going wrong. Meanwhile, Julie and Kevin begin a friendship, the history teacher discovers in the middle of their conversation that the woman is the mother of his student Ashley and is a little surprised. But Julie explains that her daughter changed her name to her father so that they wouldn't find out about their relationship and other things. Since they are no longer strangers, Kevin asks if Julie could help him in his class and the next day. The teacher explains how courtship used to work, talking about how it was only possible through dances and dance cards. The two of them showed the students how the dance worked and then everyone got up on stage to learn. Ashley ended up paired up with Nick on the teacher's orders and the boy took the opportunity to ask her what makes her think she knows him, since they haven't lived together for very long. The girl replied that she's met people like him, so she knows what a jerk he can be if he wants to, and the conversation didn't end very well. Despite the clash, it seems that Nick kept thinking about the things Ashley had said to him in the next day. He decided to go after her, but to talk. The girl tells him that if he wants to, he can change for the better, like stop bothering Max, who hasn't done anything to Nick, and the boy tells her how the two of them were close when they were little, but grew apart because they developed different tastes. For example Max went into technology and he into sports, girls and the like. Over the course of the day, Ashley realizes that the conversation she had with Nick seems to have paid off, as the boy has stopped picking on his only friend and she is later surprised when Nick turns up at her house. They have been given an assignment in which they have to go to a historical site and write about what it means to them, so the boy invites her to go with him, as his girlfriend has other things to do and doesn't mind him taking her. To make things clear, Nick is dating Carrie the queen bee of the school who only cares about herself and can be said to treat others a thousand times worse than her boyfriend, 
especially since he has now started the process of moving out. As they drive to the place, Nick wonders if Julie, the drama teacher, is the protagonist's mother and Ashley can't deny it, having seen her at his house, so the boy starts to find out more about the new girl and gets closer to her. Along with the news comes the protagonist's plea for him not to tell the others about his mother. The two of them visit a place that has an exhibition of model airplanes and there's one that Ashley tells the story of when her maternal grandfather flew in the Second World War and the things he had to do to survive with his crew. Nick found the story very interesting and used it in his work. When the boy dropped his new friend off at home, he didn't notice that Carrie's car was nearby and from the look on her face, we can tell that trouble is coming. The next day, they start to appear, when Carrie knocks the protagonist down in the school corridor. However, I believe that Nick has had enough of the way his friends and girlfriend act towards each other. So he defends Max when he gets the chance and Carrie doesn't like it at all, which results in the two of them ending their relationship, since the girl says she doesn't like this new version of him. Meanwhile, Kevin and Julie get closer and closer. The history teacher comments to his wife that Ashley is very nice to her, but always seems to have something to say, but always backs down. Then Julie tells them what happened to her daughter at her previous school and why she is the way she is today. Ashley ended up getting a part in the school play, which another girl wanted. As the protagonist wanted to keep it and didn't agree to pass it on to this girl, she and her best friend created a fake profile on a social network, with Ashley's photo and name, where they used it to attack her classmates and even staff at the institution. In this way, the protagonist came to be hated by everyone around her and only her mother stood by her side. They even went after what they could do in court to prove that Ashley was innocent, since the girl began to be beaten up at school and even threw things at the window of the family home, but it seems that the situation didn't fit as cyberbullying but rather as freedom of expression. The city police didn't help them much either and the best choice for them was to leave the area. Back in the present day, the protagonist and Nick have a lot of fun and start spending more and more time together, now that he's single. Then, as there's a party coming up at the weekend, the boy decides to invite her along and even though she's not a big fan, taking into account recent events, Ashley accepts. At the party, the two of them have their first kiss and when Carrie sees them, she simply turns into a hateful person. However, she gets on well, because her cousin, who is also at the party, is one of the girls who did it with Ashley at her old school and the protagonist's nightmare begins all over again. They show Nick the fake profile that everyone believes belongs to the protagonist and this results in Ashley being cornered. All the feelings she had started to get rid of returning and the girl running back to her house. The next day, everyone at school was talking about Ashley's profile on social media and as if that wasn't enough, Carrie, proving to be part of the same family as her last bully, started to be aggressive towards the protagonist. The girl even scribbled on Ashley's locker. Then the protagonist goes after Carrie and the two start fighting, which results in them being sent to the principal's office. And again, no one believes that it wasn't the protagonist who said the things and created that profile, nor that it was she who started it all, but Carrie who is stalking her. Ashley doesn't want to go to school anymore and she can't stand the whole situation. She even ends up blaming her mother for a while, but then she backs down, because it's not fair to do that to the only person who has supported her all this time. Over the next few days, the protagonist hasn't been to school and Max is worried about her. So he goes after Nick to find out if he's heard from the girl and discovers that the boy is also blaming her. So Max talks to him, the two of them haven't known each other for long, but she's shown herself to be someone who wouldn't do this kind of thing and Max used himself as an example. When a situation happened to him in which a rumor was spread that was a lie, which spread faster than him telling the truth. This conversation made Nick think about the situation and he went after her, who was in that place on the plains. The boy discovers the truth about what really happened from his old school and Ashley also shares that she's tired of running away, but doesn't know what else to do. So Nick asks her to stay in town for him and helps her do that history assignment with Max. 
The two of them give Ashley all the support she needs to go back to school and she uses the video of the assignment as an opportunity to finally explain herself and make the others understand that she wasn't the one doing those things on the internet. Over the next few days, the protagonist was finally able to put her past behind her and settle into her new school, making new friends and relaxing to enjoy her teenage years as anyone deserves. Her mother also had a change in her life, as she and Kevin finally started a relationship. What did you think of this movie? I hope you enjoyed the summary. Leave your suggestions in the comments and subscribe. If you liked the video, like it and share it to help me, until next time.